Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Adobe campaign. We're picking up for episode 29 from turn 135 in the summer season of 217. So I believe we ended the episode by setting up the siege here in Lingling, uh, up against one of the Kingdom of Wu's armies. Um, no one here in particular is of any significance for the Three Kingdom period, so we're just going to crush them. No night battle in this army, it's a little bit weird, and we don't exactly have good range support with archers, but we have strong generals, so it should be pretty simple. Alrighty, so we're loaded in here, and looking at the city, this will definitely be the easier side for us to attack. And we're just gonna blast open probably the wall, and then have the people go in. <laughs> right, that's pretty much all we need. I think Li Bu's job is just to fix history for the Kingdom of Wu, murder a few people like um, Sun Ce, and perhaps Lady Wu just because she's going to take over, I believe. She's the heir. Now right, we'll, we'll speed this part up, blast open not only the, the fort tower, but also the gate. Good. We're not very accurate, nor do we have a lot of ammo. I'm glad he's willing to duel. He does have a gold weapon, but we should be just fine. There's passive heals for everyone in the field. Oh, the damage is not even, not even close. He's dead. Yeah, we're really not accurate. The wall behind already broke and the tower's still up. But that is just fine. Oh, we drop down right away. Not good, we lose a lot of charge, but what's her range on this? A hundred. Okay, she's gonna have to come in too. We'll bring the whole family. This way we don't have to worry about losing health, and he'll get quicker cooldowns, I believe. Oh, they finished the towers. Um, Hound over here. Just, just stand and fight. I'm just gonna chill. I can actually chill just right outside. That'd be the best way to do it. And then since we're close, we also get better melee attack rate. I'll take on the cavalry on the outside here. Activate buff ourselves. Do a splash damage as well. And then come in here and help dad out. Our smash is back up. Are they trying to shield wall in the middle of combat? How does that work? Am I actually hitting stuff? Oh, I am. Okay. Out of ammo there. I'll take on the spear units. Don't bother me. Another boost to her damage. Another smash. And the passive ki uh, the heal should just be enough to uh, sustain this fighting. Oh, 
Alright, got a general down. She's angry. Then we kill her too. And one more hit. Yep, Nubu kills her. Pull downs back. Pull downs back. Actually, why don't I go up and kill them? You stay down here and kill them. And I will just give you guys heals. Oh, poor guy. It's a cone shaped smash, less effective. Yeah, we're gonna have the father and daughter murder everyone here. her in between here. We can also help the daughter out, but she can't heal herself, so I'd rather keep her out of combat. Look at these bodies. Yeah, try to get past me. Perfect timing. There we go. She also got done killing her group. On to the next group. Boost her damage. For your sake, don't kill me, or else these two would get angrier and do 70% more damage. Alright, time to come down the wall. They're hitting me! Here, take care of your mom, or stepmom. Let me take care of these spear units. I'll chase archer unit, how about that? Oh. Right, I'll chase the range around. You guys slap the spear. Kill these axe. Give me a couple of swings. Everyone's just scared of him. Stabbing is not efficient. Swings, swings. Oh, 
Don't want to be outside. Our daughter moving on. More interesting target inside. Let's go. Mom saw, saw a lot of archers. Yeah, there's not much left in town. We're almost done. There's one unit here, Protector of Heaven. Chasing the Spear Guard around. Kill them. They're dead. Chase the next group. We're full health. Because, you know, mom's around. We pull. I guess we have to curl around. Up this way. Let's each take care of one. We can't finish these off. Anyways. Yeah, uh, doesn't matter. We'll ignore that. They don't want to fight us? You guys are strong, right? Every single one of you cosplaying as Guan Yu. He's just like backing off, backing off, backing off, backing off. Backing off, guys. Guys, we're a unit, right? They're like, no, nope, no, we're out. We're out. We're out. Oh! Can we have more of those attacks? Oh my god, we're doing this type of damage to Protector of Heavens. Oh my god. So who's next? These two. There we go. That's the swing we want to see. Now how are the... They're still chasing the archer around? I already captured it. Oh my god. He took a swing. It's him. Get him. Like, no, we had enough. All right. That went well. Just 557 kills. No big deal. And then the rest got averaged in together. We'll be taking your spear. Now, Yang Ren comes from the same famous Yang clan. But at this point... Not really relevant for our storyline. So we did pick up the Red Phoenix Inflamed Feather. Pretty cool. We got our city back, so we can upgrade it. And we will continue to march up to pick up Changsha again. Guan Yu's army. We'll probably ignore them for now. We will help our brother take care of the mess in Jiangxia. No one really wants to start the siege. Ooh, Xu Shu is here. Maybe we can just capture him on the battlefield. That might be the plan. Yeah, no one has siege weapons, so they haven't started. We're still fine. 
Their base army needs a little bit of replenishment, but so far so good. Catching them might be difficult. Depends on how far they run. Tai Mao. What's that? Doufu. Okay. They might not run against one army, but I definitely don't want to make it a fair fight. So we're going to get them to run against the first one. Hopefully they don't run very far because there's a river here. All right, this way we can still... Still catch them? No, we can't. Um, hmm. Then we... Ambush. Sure. Why not? Ma Chao's actually coming out to help. We really do appreciate it. He can help us take places like this. Wei has to turn back around, take care of a lot of invading armies. Being in the city gives us a decent amount of replenishment. That's fine. We gave them the 10% replenishment item. I have to catch them again. They're coming to Jin, uh, Jin Cheng's uh, horse pasture. I don't know how we should catch them, though. Feels like we're destined to lose it first and then reclaim it. The Great Wall here makes it very difficult to move this way. Pretty much have to come through here, but then we will be trespassing and then we can't heal, which is a bummer. But this seems to be the right approach. We could get sandwiched, but I don't think they're working together either, so it's it's probably okay. The sons. And they have crossed back over to help the father. They returned, but I don't know if the garrison's ready. Oh, it's very small. It's level one. Badun got hit by a scheme. We have to fix those. We'll just attack this one on March. We'll do what we can. And this is just the easy delegate here. They're not dead. I'm assuming this is Liu Bell's daughter. And someone's starting wife. We'll finish catching up to them, I hope. I don't know if we have that mobility. We'll increase that. No, we... Wait, I didn't confirm. So we're stuck here. They're stuck with us, it's fine. They're gonna retake it, aren't they? Even if I dump three generals... She's level 5. Uh, both of them are level 5. Units are bad. They would need to be some high quality generals to hold this defense. I just don't think we have anyone who really should be putting their life at risk to defend this right now. We can always retake it. We was coming up, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't think we need to take a risk. Losing a level 1 Lumberyard is not a big deal. Okay, these are fine. That needs an upgrade. It's fine. Hmm, no state workshop here. None of our state workshop has upgraded to the Jason's uh, corruption reduction, so our income is going to take another massive leap when that happens. In a couple turns. We are not rushing anything, so it's going to be slow. Alright, that's pretty much it. Let's continue here. Oh, oh. No, we did the marriage. I almost for a second forgot we did the marriage or not. There's two other daughters. They're not going to come of age in time. Zhang Fei is stuck here now. Because the daughter's here, so he's part of the tree. Um, he should just be kind of a separated one, but it's fine. The rest of the Zhang clan, they really... Mm, I mean, an expanded family tree would have been nice. 
a family tree for every general would have been really nice, but we have what we have, so let's continue here. Right, they have come back to reclaim that lumberyard. And amazingly, we only lost one piece of land. I think that's Ying Shao's kid. Once again, not interested. Unless you have great traits. Uh, that's a negative. I think we kept her because of the elusive and the pacifist. Which actually makes her a pretty decent administrator. They put themselves on march. They doomed themselves. So we will finish them off. Assuming... Ah, uh, they got through the river somehow. Which we cannot get through. So I guess we will abandon them. Let them siege some city. Did they go for the... Uh, do we even need to come help? They seem to be... Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll go together. It's fine. Or... Or we don't have to. Right, we will definitely wipe them out and then go pressure the tool maker there. Uh, we will just release. Our sun leveled up. We're going to get the faction wide skills first. He marched himself. Why would you do that? Close victory. I don't think so. Two strategists, so we can't duel them. Uma we can kill. Militia tier army gonna give us medium casualty? I, I don't want to fight this. This is really not worth our time. I hope medium casualty is like 300. 500? I mean, you had your own faction once, but I'm not interested in you. 500? Seriously? Yeah, we want that ability as well. We could lead, give us extra campaign movement. Yeah, I can get some maybe faction wide boosts for now. He is part of the court. Uh, maybe some extra income. Satisfaction seems to be fine. Right, seriously? That much casualty for this army? Complicates things a bit against them, but the good thing is Heavy Cavalry doesn't do well into this army at all, so we'll be fine. Ah, uh, where should Liu Bei go? They have no siege weapon, right? They don't. I'll... I'll ambush here. So that I'm not visible on the map and I'll see what they do. They, they got this by themselves. No shield, delegates pretty badly into us, except for we also took pretty heavy casualties here. They have the extra 10% heal. So at least they're healing back. Armor increasing damage for the whole army. Melee though. But um they have a sword. Hmm. Our army are a little bit worn out. This one's kind of recovered a bit. They landed. They marched quite far to land here to die.
价值于地，赏餐于天。包卵 ，OK。舒服。嗯 ，Nobody that we need. He he disappeared from history books after surrendering to Cao Cao. Like there's no mentions of him after the battle of Guandu. Even though he was often discussed together with Zhang He, but afterward, no one know what happened to him. Well, he surrendered, but like he didn't participate in any big campaigns or leave a name for himself. So release him, release him. Guess I don't need money. I guess I should pick up more replenishment while I can. They didn't take it. Good. Now I can actually face off against them on my own territory. This army heals fast. Xiao Tiao, zero percent chance of capture. Oh, I need to switch to general. Why is my um, strategist leading? That's a big mistake. Okay, just looking at their skill trees. I'll take uh, fatigue resistance. It's kind of pointless. I'll actually take final rush and rush this way. I mean, when you have town units, why bother with fatigue resistance? All right, after we wipe them out, we might go that way. Might ignore Hansui's army, but maybe they won't allow us to ignore them. So we'll see how they deploy. Uh, that can't wait. All right, we have enough food to make Jenning taller. Okay, all's well. Still a few armies around. Chengpu is trying to be on the run. I'm gonna try to catch him again. I don't think we can reach that in one turn. No, we can't. So we might as well stay here and ambush. Speaking of ambushes, are they rebuilding an army? Oh, I can't see. Well, whatever they do and they want to come out, that's the only place they can come out. Unless they take the naval route, which would be actually very smart. But I doubt they know. Okay, I think we're good. Let's continue then. Ma Chao's force. Oh, they rushed up and got attacked. Night battle too. Cao Pi. This is no joke. This army is hard for us to deal with. I'm gonna retreat back. So they attack the city. Well, let them take it. I mean, I can't stop them. All right, Liu Bei's ambush did work out. We did catch them. We get a night battle fight. Um. It's still a pretty good quality army, but the ambush will help us, plus the night battle too. So there's a bunch of morale advantages, and we can set up the fight how we want. I wonder what the map will be like. Uh, decent enough. Alright, the difficult part is the fact they have so many cavalry units. Good news is we can probably set up a pretty nice just the frontal army just to stop them from escaping and actually try to wipe them out so we can go on and take land. Got to make sure everyone's turned on to fire will. They don't really have a very defined role in this army, gem peacekeepers. I'm not actually using them to tank any shots. They're not very good in terms of Cavalry versus cavalry combat, but they're kind of 
functioning as frontline, but they're not good enough once the frontline battle actually start. So th there's a bit of an awkward situation with them. But they look cool. So uh, we will keep using them. Yeah, gotta make sure everyone has firewell on. Nobe will look for a few duels. I'll sit back and heal when we need to, and I will be here boosting our firing rate. Uh, they might change their tune. Why don't they want to duel Liu Bei? Right, I'll take time off. I will actually take Dofu when he gets into range, yes. Nobody's gonna pass on some booze, pass on some range disadvantage. Do a heal, the fire is kinda there we go. That swing the deal pretty quickly. Yeah, we're gonna have to just soft counter the cavalry a little bit. This charge, no one's gonna stop. Maybe Liu Bei can stop this one. Tribuchet, what are you doing? There's so many things over there. He's just trying to hit this guy. He's just like, I'm gonna stop them myself with my tribuchets. There's three of them left? Alright, go go run after one of the range units. Alright, we also won over there. Nobody couldn't stop them, but they routed, which is good. Most of their morale have collapsed. Even though there's three, the skirmish mode on the archers will make them run away, which will buy us plenty of time. And the fires are doing their job. Move them back. They chase them away. Come back here. Not mounted it. Get back on your horse. We can't actually expect the three of them to hold them forever. The fire has run out. Get back on your... Wait, are they... Why is these all grayed out? Get back on your machines. And what happened? Oh, they got charged by cavalry and then they couldn't reset. Give everyone a boost. Make everyone. Actually, we'll wait. We still have enough range to do it. Chase the farther one. Pull the cavalry off. Oh! They came back. Only he has some arrows left. Not yet. Not anymore. Okay. Because our burn officers are not with them in the county, so the ammo situation is a little bit worse off than usual. Actually, why don't you clean them out so I can actually... Maybe with just a warning shot, they'll rout. Yeah, we got them. Got them. Still chasing them. They activated their last stand because of army loss, I think, so it would be over soon. Uh, three units finally chased down one guy. We only killed 10 of them, but the army loss has kicked in, so we win this. Not too bad. Actually control the casualty pretty well here. Alrighty. Piece of cake.
Uh, the Do clan is long gone. Also one of those old clans had empresses in the past. I don't care about the weapon, you get to live. We do have quite a bit of mercy. Uh, seriously? It's a lot of population loss. We have yet a sun. We made the north wind. I thought we had a north wind already. Alright. Can't catch them because we had to cross the river. They slip behind us. They have no siege weapons, so they have to siege the city, which means we have time. They can reinforce from across the river, yet I think that's even better for us. Because we can perhaps wipe both of them out in one battle. Oh, but they're so bad. I can't let them cross. Militia tier units. I mean, the bandit faction can't recruit much, but that's a little bit too bad. Like, yeah, you guys take your time. I gotta head back. Tosa also. Ooh. Yuan Shao's back. Ah, uh, Yu Fun still didn't go to the right faction. Alright, so they're there. They're weakened. I can reinforce. Machol siege here. I would have to march up, but I think that's okay. This group will clean them out. They're on march. Nobody will not move, actually. I don't think they need any help cleaning that up. Still, the casualty is massive. I don't understand. This, there's no way if we just like laid them out, they can't even charge up with what they had to deal this much damage. I don't know how they're simulating the, the results, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Going that way, Liu Bei is going to be put on march. Cao Pi. From one emperor to the next, how dare you usurp the Han? So it seems like we should come defend Huarong. Seems like all the threat here are neutralized. This Li Bu's group is gonna take care of them. But first, let's recover our armor craftsmen. Who is setting these delegate values? They all have shield, I get it. This army is not exactly a ranged army now, is it? Yeah. Forcing us to fight quite a few battles here. Because all the ones we have delegated so far have been... very poorly judged, let's just say that. There's no range threat on the enemy, so I almost don't have to really protect these guys. We have suppression against the first wave of cavalry charges. Oh, they have to wait. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need anyone. Go, go, go. can like counter charge anything they can throw at us with better cavalry. No, we go after the cavalry right there. We counter charge these cavalry. So that it's as though they don't have cavalry. Smash. The point that we stop this one is he's going to try to frontal charge our juggernauts. And the juggernauts don't have enough time to respond to them. Oh no, we do have enough time to oh, back off. Yeah, if we can stop that first frontal charge, it's there's nothing they can do against us. Oh, 
Like, how are they going to climb up this hill with their infantry? Alright, their cavalry has been eradicated. Suppression shots to get rid of their charge. Abandoned machine. Save yourself. Engage in combat. Engage in combat. Engage in combat. Charge. Ah, uh, no need to overdo this. The flamethrowers will take care of it. Goodbye. Look at that. Yeah, get back up. Second wave comes. Third wave comes. Slap, slap, slap. Yeah, medium casualty. Alrighty. Reclaim the piece of Changsha. So Yu Jin's army is waiting for us there. Xiaohusheng? Okay. We'll take care of them first and loop over. It seems like they're in no rush to push on farther. They seem to have just recovered it and made it their capital. Go ahead. Um, down here, we give chase. Give us that spear, please. 54%. He dropped it. He dropped it. You can't drop weapons anymore, unfortunately. Oh. He died. He's he's dead already. I can execute him. Historically, Chumpu was already dead. Died of old age. We don't get the bow. But we do get the spear. Alright, we kill him. Burn officer. Xin Xiang Ying Xin Xin. Is she gonna be? I'm. I. I mean, Xin Clan. I'll, I'll let her live. I think she is gonna be relevant much later on, closer to the Jin Dynasty. But, um, uh, you, you can go. There's nothing of value. See, that's a good delegate value. That we can accept. Right now we're gonna go down to Hopu, I guess. The old try ranked up. Finally, flaming shot. And we're looking at you. Chungpu died for you, just so that you can have a weapon like your father. Oh, it is the weapon given to Chungpu with the mod TUP. Not bad. Style you like your dad. Speaking of like dads, we got father and son and daughter. I'm gonna trust the low here. How bad can it be? It was like 500 something last time. 200? Okay, 170. Close, around 200. We still have to be worried about this army in front, but if we can park ourselves inside the city, they, they can't really do much. And then we got help on this side. We're sandwiching them, and then we can come out, reclaim Jiangxia, take Runan. They're gonna reclaim Lujiang, which is fine. Also has the wealth with this much land to keep pumping out army. Like, the fact that we kept our army quite small, it's pretty you know, representative of history, you know, just thinking, can we, can Liu Bei actually win? Difficult, because they have about two-third of the population and maybe like four-third of the wealth. So in a long-drawn war, it's very hard to see how you could just win that. 
Alright, Talpi, you got yourself trapped here. That's your fault. Let's fight. Oh, it's raining. Okay, not the greatest weather for us, but um, given their army composition, I'm fairly certain they will charge out. Mainly because they have like seven units of Protector of Heaven, three units of Defender of Earth, a bunch of really elite cavalry. So I can't imagine them not coming out to fight us. Like this is a very solid late game army. If they don't come out... I think the second our Tribuchet show up, they will start coming out. No? Really now? They'll let me set up. Okay. I'll, I'll gladly set up. We'll set up like right here. I don't care if it's raining. Shift everyone over. We don't want to run through the spikes. I wonder if Talpi is willing to duel us. One Emperor to another? Wang Long's willing to duel us. Ma Chua, you can use the experience, right? Go for it. It's unfortunate we can't find Fa Zheng, or else we can give Wang Long the same kind of blood coughing uh, attack by using Mock on him, because in the novel, Wang Long gets pretty much rap battled by Zhuge Liang and coughs up blood. Oh, getting shot, it's fine. I'm out, hurts your scholar. Don't know why you're willing to duel, but uh, I'll more than gladly take it. Give us something to watch while everyone sets up. Elite force there. I uh, just have a roar, not worth using. Oh, my how you're embarrassing your clan. We call you guys Sea Down Warriors. This is a this is a scholar from Shandong. Come on. How much damage does your spear do? Oh, not not that much actually. I mean, we have gained the upper hand, it's just a lot slower than I imagined. Uh, 
Okay. Oh. Alright, let's not get killed by the towers. Oh, Tall P was a friend. Here comes Tall P, very, very angry. Bye. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. You guys through traps? How is your how is your boss gonna go back in? Alright, the trebuchet is still taking forever to move across. I don't want to get shot by tower, so I'm just gonna run back out of range. Let's finish setting up this part now that everyone else is here. Move back real quick, create a way for them, they're getting kinda of stuck. Oh, they're also fatigued, so the movement's even extra slow. I wonder why they're not adjusting the units towards this side, because clearly all our units have moved. But, uh, that is maybe something we shouldn't really wonder about. Basically, we'll have cavalry on both flanks to counter charge whatever it might get to us. That's the new defense style we're going to approach here. Shot cavalry being better at counter charging cavalry, so they'll go first. And these will be reserved to charge down enemy rank unit, uh, range units. Rank units. Um, these, there's not a lot of space for them to kite unless the towers all go down. We'll hold them in reserve. You're just here to look fancy. Alright, Macho, come back. Good job. Alright, they're moving a few guys over. Speed this up. Wish it wasn't raining. So he's got a fallen Oathworm boost. 100% extra damage. With a gold pair of uh, cylindrical mace that has minus 25% enemy armor. Quite fearsome. Not a lot of armor piercing damage, but just the base plus the minus armor. Makes it pretty powerful, actually. Are we ready? 18 shots. Not a lot, especially with the rain. Without the rain, this would just be toast. But I think we just want this pair of tower to go down, and then we should have just range superiority anyways, so it's going to be fine. Alright, almost in position. We'll let them leave her down after that once. There we go. We'll do regular shot, I guess. Quickly remove these towers. Maybe we'll get rid of these as well. And then they don't actually have any long range units. That's something I noticed. So after this tower goes down, I can send in them to first take out their range. Okay, good. Trebuchet can wait. Cavalry forward. Traffic jam, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. All right, listen to me. Don't waste your arrows on unnecessary targets. Don't over chase. Those towers don't kick in until over there, so we're going to pick off enemy range units first. Base smoke screen, we switch to the next one. And we wait for the smoke screen to end. You can't hide forever. We could also shoot at them, but they do have some range block chance, which is rather annoying. There we go. Or you can leave the smoke screen. Up to you. 
We have a lot of ammo. 88. On the ones from the strategist. The base ammo is really high. Plus the boost. We have a couple burn officers here. Maybe, oh, actually, no, we don't. Guess the base ammo is just really high. They have decent... They don't have decent armor, actually. I don't know why it's so hard to kill them. I guess there's just not many of them. Please route. None of them have fire arrows. Okay. Okay, after this unit's done, we can pull some shenanigans. I mean, if they let the cavalry this close, maybe it'll let them this close too. That would be something now, wouldn't it? Also inch them up closer. We could also just send them up and start dominating them. In case they charge out, we'll have them ready to go. Not many range target for them to run after. Actually, we'll come in from probably the side. Ono has a bow. We could shred him. Go a little bit slower in case they do come out. Here, we'll do angle here. In case they do charge out, we can set up an angle to because I gotta move one much closer to get the damage in. We can actually just wait. We'll turn them off for now for this group. Here goes nothing. If this works, then Protector of Heaven are just doomed. Well, they throw traps. Barely does any damage. I don't have to worry about that. It's really just the slow now. Alright, well, they let us go this close. They're like, what are those things? They don't seem to do anything. Until they do something. Wait for a new group. And they are standing on a puddle of oil too. Bongo, that's your target. Don't overchase. Why 
are they not routing? Nobody else want to guard this? Not firing. Oh, he is. That high arcing? I mean, unless he doesn't move. Oh, he's not moving. 2k per hit. 1k. 1k per hit? Okay, it's 1.5-ish, I guess. Wandrone's like, I got this. Until we're out of ammo. <laughs> oh no, he still have ammo. No, he's out. He's out. He's out. They're almost out of ammo. The cool thing. Oh no, no, no. Abandon your machines. Yes. Cool thing is, I don't have to move these machines now. I can just move these people. The ammo's on the unit. Basically, the new new setup's gonna be kind of like this, kind of like this, to stop the people from running away. Get on these new machines. Line them up. No one's coming to the door, though. That's the disappointing part. I also have a bow. Not as much damage, but maybe I can finish him off. Accuracy and the damage is just not there. Oh, there we go. Finally got a shot in. Now we're on the roll. Oh, we missed that one. Tulpy's gone. Assassinated. Wait, who are you shooting now? Okay, he's out. Alright, as much fun as those units are, the Imperial crossbowmen are, will, will now take over. Most of these cavalry are not melee cav, except for this one. But I can't, can't go, can I go any closer? I feel like I'm going to get charged if I go any closer. Okay, apparently they won't do anything. Two jets of flame is enough. Go for it. They also have yellow dragons, which has 85% range block chance. Which I guess is what the trebuchet should be used for. Eighty-five is only good from the front. They're running away. They get completely shredded. All right. So the trebuchet helped. be wrapping up soon.
Very well. Fire well. Fire well. This is not a great place for the protector heavens of the Kingdom of Wei. Slightly worse than facing off Li Wu. Generals, go in. Oh, we're getting bombed on this side. Stop that. Wait, they turtle with a yellow dragon. Smart. Break the turtle formation with a couple rocks. They're done. As they run, the archers will pick them up. Nice. This was a fun fight. Alrighty, so we crushed Telpi over here. If we didn't let one of their units kill 32, we would have had a pretty clean fight. The base on March could be a little risky, but hopefully they don't have any backup units. We have gained the Jin province. We'll lose a little bit of Lujiang, which is partly the Yang province, so it's fine. Uh, we lost the southern half, which is pretty historical actually. Um, Lu Bu will fix that part of the history for us. If he meets Sun Ce, we'll execute him. He's long past his supposed death date. The south should be fine now, with Lady Wu's army destroyed. We just have to sweep through the coast. Probably make a landing and then hop over here and just get more land so we can get our victory condition. Uh, the northwest is slow, but stable. This army seems strong enough to take on whatever they have. Not a, you know, a, a empire, not, not a emperor seat owner, so no protector of heaven spam like what the Kingdom of Wei is doing. Uh, I'm glad they're throwing these high quality armies at us really is much more fun to play against than these militias that are being sent over. Like, come on, this is a waste of our time at this point. Um, but Domin still has some decent forces, and we do have to pass through a couple of tough fights. And also, Venshaw makes a return. So we'll be holding on to Chang'an here for a while, hopefully taking a pass or two. And after they clear this path towards the capital way, well, actually both capital away, um, basically, we'll continue the pincer style attack. The second generation kids, Guan Yu and the kids, Guan Yu and the many, many kids. All we're missing is um, Zhang Xue, or, but Zhang Xue, I don't know who she can team up with. Kind of out of, I mean, Li Yan. Maybe if we captured Zhang Yi, but we didn't. Um, like, this is the only historical generals that we have left. Liu Zhang technically worked for us, just as an official, we could use him. Lady Mi is long dead at this point, but um, we could still use her, I guess. And then there's also the fictional ladies that we could use. We also didn't get Zheng Jiang, but we have Zhang Yan's wife, so that could work. Bandit wives or bandit girls. Yeah, we'll do something. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!